Kasuachla Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A couple of days back, we talked about the TORCH test and the significance of this test, especially when we are talking about infertility. Let's get a little bit into the details of IgG and IgM, immunoglobin G and immunoglobin M. IgG and IgM are types of antibodies which are proteins produced by the immune system in response to infections or other foreign substances in the body. They play a very important role in the body's immune response and can have significance in relations to infertility in certain situations. Let's look at the significance of IgG and IgM in context of infertility. IgG antibodies are the most common type of antibodies uh, that are produced in the body and are generally produced after an initial exposure to an infectious agent. They are involved in providing immunity against specific pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, parasites. And in the context of infertility, IgG antibodies may be measured in blood tests to determine if a person has been previously exposed to certain infections that could impact infertility, such as sexually transmitted infections like chlamydia, gonorrhea. And the presence of IgG antibodies against these infections may indicate a past or current infection, which could potentially affect fertility by causing inflammation or scarring of reproductive organs. IgM antibodies are the first type of antibodies produced by the immune system in response to an acute infection. They are typically produced in the early stages of an infection and may indicate a recent or ongoing infection. In the context of infertility, the presence of IgM antibodies against certain infections such as STI or other pathogens may indicate an active infection which could potentially impact fertility by causing inflammation or damage to reproductive organs. Let's look at the what are the treatment options then for IgG and IgM antibodies when it comes to infertility. That would depend on the underlying cause of antibodies and specific infection or the condition that they are associated with. Let's look at some treatment options. Antibiotic treatment. If the presence of IgG or IgM antibodies is indicative of an active bacterial infection such as sexually transmitted infections, then antibiotic treatment may be recommended. Antibiotics are commonly used to treat bacterial infection and may help to eliminate infection, reduce inflammation and prevent further damage to reproductive organs. Properly treating the underlying infection can potentially improve fertility outcomes. Antiviral treatment. In the case of viral infections such as herpes or HPV, human papilloma virus, antiviral medications may be prescribed to manage the viral infection. Antiviral med medications work by inhibiting the replication of virus and reducing the viral load, which may help to control the infection and its impact on fertility. Immune modulating therapy. In some cases, IgG or IgM antibodies may be associated with immune mediated conditions such as autoimmune disorders, where the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own tissue. Immune modulating therapies such as corticosteroids or immunosuppressive medications may be prescribed to suppress the immune response and reduce the production of antibodies. These medications are typically used in specific cases and under the guidance of a doctor only as they can have potential side effects and require careful monitoring. Then there are some other treatments depending on the underlying cause of the antibodies and other antibodies. Other treatments may be recommended to address the specific condition. For example, if IgG or IgM antibodies are associated with uh, inflammation or scarring of reproductive organs, additional treatments such as surgical interventions or other medical therapies may be considered to manage the condition and its impact on infertility. It is important to note that treatment options for IgG and IgM antibodies in the context of infertility may vary uh, depending on the specific infection or condition and the treatment plan should be determined on an individual basis and it is done so by a healthcare provider that is your uh, treating physician. It is always recommended to consult your uh, doctor who will then chalk out a detailed treatment plan for you. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.